Good morning. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tea Time with Mary. I am your host, Miss Mary Lou. And uh, hey friends, today we're gonna be taking it easy. One of my favorite videos that I have ever made and that I know you love too was all about hygge. If you don't know, hygge is the Danish word that roughly translates to coziness. It's really, really dark in Scandinavia almost the entire winter all day long. It's a big thing in their culture to find little elements of coziness and happiness of your normal day-to-day -day life. Sure, I don't live in Denmark. I am definitely here in the United United States, but I've kind of put my own personal touches on Hygge and I'm having my friend Jen over today for a tea party. So I thought I would show you how I prepare to make a Hygge holiday tea party. So I have some tips, some tricks, and some pretty video footage coming your way. If you're not subscribed to the Miss Mary Lou channel, please hit the red subscribe button below and hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload. But first, Let's drink some tea. Ooh, it's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Ah, ready to go. So to set up your Hygge holiday space, decor is of course a part of it. Fairy lights or Christmas lights are just the perfect way to get into the Hygge holiday spirit. I use these all year round as you've seen on my show. And don't forget outside, as soon as anyone walks in, which most of the time it's just me, they're greeted by holiday cheer. And let's not forget about tea lights. I always keep a pack of these little candles candles in the house. You can put these in a variety of glass or heat resistant containers. They're so, so lovely. Such little things. They can bring so much to a room. So now that we've got the Christmas decor down, our hygge is coming along nicely. It's time to contribute a little bit more to the atmosphere. Now you see one of these that I'm doing right now, a fireplace. Whether you've got a real one, a gas one, or just a TV, I've dressed mine up to make it look extra super special with stockings hanging by the fire. The crackling sounds are so good. I love them. And speaking of warmth, I love keeping blankets nearby so that my guests know if they ever do feel a little chilly, they can grab one just like they were at home and bundle up and get snuggly. All right, so now on to the tea party specifics. Of course, you can't have a tea party without tea. I have this handy little basket so they can pick out whatever they're in the mood for. And if you're in the same kind of tea mood, you can always just brew a big steaming pot of it. There's something about pulling out a teapot for company that just makes things feel extra special and extra homey. I don't know what it is. And now that we have the tea brewing, it's time to think of snacks. I think a wonderful way to share holiday traditions with people is through the food that you eat. I grew up with these delicious ginger snap German cookies. There's something about holiday snacks that just, it feels like family, it feels like home, and you can share that with others. Now that your company is here and well fed with snacks and all set up with their tea. Mm, so good. It's time to move on to things to do. Now, sometimes you might have a whole day planned of different crafts and things to do, but sometimes your company might wanna just sit on the couch and talk. And that's totally great. It's wonderful. I just love kind of feeling out how my guests are. I love checking in with them and asking how they're doing. Don't deny good conversation just because you have something planned or something scheduled, if you feel like you and your company just need to hang out and have some hygge chat tea party time, just roll with it. If you do want to keep it low key and if you're in the mood, pulling up a Christmas classic movie is always a good mood. I actually just talked about some of my favorites on my Sunday episode with Paul Preston from The Movie Guys. And don't worry, there's no need to trudge out to Blockbuster in the snow. There are lots of holiday movies movies that you can get right at home. And again, it's sharing the traditions and favorites that you grew up with, with people in your life, and a totally Hygge holiday tea party is a great way to do this. 
that's it for my who get tips for the holidays. I hope that these suggestions bring some extra warmth and sparkle to your holiday season this year. If you have any tips for the holidays, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Like what are your favorite cookies that you grew up eating? I am dying to know. Thanks for chilling with me by the fire. You can support tea parties just like this one by hopping over to my Patreon page. And last and most important of all, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you on Sunday. It's tea time with Mary. Thanks for watching Tea Time with Mary. I hope to see you real soon. If you want to like, subscribe, and comment, uh -uh, I think that would be cool. Check out my Facebook.com slash Tea Time with Mary for all the content that's new or my instagram twitch and twitter i'm mad miss mary lou so thanks again for joining us and thanks for being a friend we'll see you next tuesday the fun never ends on tea time with Mary. That's me! <laughs> okay, that's good. We got it. <laughs> <laughs>